Morning SODV 1201. Good morning class. So um, I might actually say good morning every time. You will never know. Uh, so we're going to go through uh, the first uh, lesson that uh, you'll have. Um, this is a uh, week 13. Uh, I'm going to call each branch that. I'm working on the weekend code right now uh, and we're going to do it together. So this is both your assignment and uh, your lesson, okay? So you all read the, the document about um, what, what the final assignment is. So there's two things. One is, is you, you need some sort of uh, framework to start working on your CSS and, uh, and your um, JavaScript that you'll need to carry out the project. So uh, one of the methods I came up with was to show you uh, a way of using the static files. So that means uh, we move away from the routing that we did do some of, um, and then we'll go into it and we'll get more intense about it so that you can build your full application. But I wanted to give you a way of building out all those files you know, figuring out what the CSS was, um, how you would structure the HTML and everything like that, while you're also working on the actual express routing and and those kinds of things. So this is that attempt to uh, essentially break up your team into components. Okay, so <coughs> I may cough every once in a while. I've tried to move the microphone away uh, so that my coughs go a little bit different direction, but you know. We'll do what we can. So when you download the code, you'll do week 13 dash start, right? Um, and you'll download it. And if you click on your package.json, you'll see this here. Um, what you can do is you'll go npm install because the first time you clone this, there won't be a node modules. There also won't be a git ignore. This I've set up for just me. Uh, you're welcome to do the same thing if you like. If you like, you can see what I've done here. It will make sure that you don't. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to make sure it's available in the Git end. There you go. So now uh, you'll get the Git ignore, and it will block your node modules, so you don't accidentally uh, uh, carry that around. But always remember that the node modules doesn't come with any cloning because it's uh, like. 500 megabytes and there's no need you just npm install from the root folder I'm right here right now at the root right here okay let's see here I'll go pwd to show you where I am see I'm in my bvc folder in our class folder set up specifically for this online learning okay so let me clear that away I've installed I did this, npm install, and then I got here. Those were installed. So you'll see all of this. And now after npm install, you'll see this. Okay? Okay. So I'll delete it because I don't need to do it. <coughs> now uh, I can go npm. Uh, let's see our package. Close that. Let me just... There we go. Uh, that didn't help, did it? It made more noise. So... I have two choices. Well, I have three. But if you look at these two names, I think it's inferred which ones you have the choices from. So this is just general starting. This is what uh, sort of a production start would look like. This is your development. And then this is debugging. Typically, I just always run debug. So npm run debug. OK. And the reason why I do this uh, move back to the right is for this reason. You see all this data right here? Right there. That's only in debug. Let me just cancel this for a second. Instead of debug, I'm going to go dev. You see? That's just not there. It's not the same. So let me just see here. I'm going to bring over the browser. So let's see. Uh, localhost. 3000. See? Localhost listing on port 3000. Localhost 3000. Okay. Let's see, do I have that in here? No, I don't. I have it here. Port. Port. OK. 
okay? There's another thing you can do here if you want. You can go like this. I, I, I used to do this, and maybe that's better. Post. Uh, like that. So let me just, there you go. And then that way, look at that. It picks it up. And if you, it'll give you an idea what uh, special key you need to click if you're on Windows. But uh, if you look at mine, it says Command Click. So I click Command, and it actually opens. <coughs> Makes it super easy for you. So let's, I'll keep that there, this code copy. Okay, so let's just move that over to the side because we don't really need that right now. I'm going to just move that, it'll just hang out on the side there. There we go. I'll bring it in when it's needed. Okay, so that's from here, right? So you got those two. So now I'm going to go back to my debug. There we go. Okay. Oh, now, this takes up a lot of screen space. I only did that for you, so I'm going to just move that down there because I don't need it. Make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to close this. Now, it's important to look through this and understand. So, when you use your code editor, you can see a lot of different things. And you've been taught it before, but you probably just avoided it because you could. But it's important now to understand how all of this works. Okay? So, these. These tools, when you hover, it tells you about the method, what you're using, what's inside. See this? Standard error with new line. There you go. See? Parameter, parameter, port. See? It says a string or 3000. Neat, eh? Okay, so what's important is, is this is how you always want to set up an express application. Okay, and Express is a framework we use on top of Node, which you've been using, okay? <coughs> it's kind of like Word on top of Microsoft OS. Uh, Microsoft OS has a text editor, and Node has a basic web server. And Word makes text editing much easier, much faster, way more uh, formatting, and Express is the same for web servers, okay? Okay, that's it's what it's essentially doing. It's an express frame. It's an, a framework on top that runs on top of X, uh, Node that uh, makes uh, running a web server, uh, web application easier. Okay, and so what I've done here, and you may have seen this. I've seen, noticed this in some of your projects already. Um, is that I call this express static tool. Okay, now. Actually, it's saying it right there. Wow, I was just reading it. The file to serve will be determined by combining request.url with the provider root directory. When a file is not found, instead of sending 404 response, this module will instead call next to move on to the next middleware, allowing for stacking, for stacking and fallbacks. So what it's saying here is that Express will call this method on the Express object right, because we've instantiated it here into app. <coughs> so express dot static will take the directory, I think it should show, oh, it won't show it, okay. So directory name, this dir name, means root. So root, take the root, the absolute root, and then add this onto it. So what it's saying is slash public. In this case, now if slash public was inside, um, let's say we were in the root, and then slash public was inside um, static, and then we had public, then it would say, then what we would have to do is we'd have to go static, like that, because it's the root. It's the absolute root it takes you to. And that way it makes it really easy to do this. Because every time, whatever computer, it will always find the root. Okay? So that's why it's like that. You know me, I don't like those. <clears throat> so, anyway. So now we're, we're running the static folders. Okay? So if we go over to the static folders... We have our CSS. Your CSS will always be in here. <coughs> uh, 
even when you're using dynamic stuff, you'll use the CSS in your public folder. Because even in the dynamic, what will happen is ultimately dynamic turns to this. And what is this? This is a static page. So when the browser sees it, it's static. It's just what happens before static is the question. Right now we're going to work just on just on static. So everything will be built in here. So right now we have this welcome page, right? I'm going to make this a smidge smaller. Let's see. Yes, I'm a Star Wars fan. Let's see if I can make this. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So we need to practice something. So uh, we want a P tag. And this is our first video together. Maybe our first video lesson together. Okay. <coughs> Notice it doesn't refresh. There you go. Okay. So you can do this with multiple files. So let's pretend uh, we want an about page. About.html. And we go like this and we say, welcome to about. Let's see. Uh, there we go. This is our first about page together. Right? There we go. And we don't see anything, right? This is the thing right here. Watch this. Uh, yeah, I was going to think. I was like, I wonder if it's it won't work like that. I'm too used to dynamic routing. What can I say? There we go. But it won't do dynamic elements. Dynamic elements are only from Pug, what we were using before, okay? So that won't happen in your static folder. So if you need a, now if you need a, a script tag, you go like this, script. Uh, source, let's see, I don't know. Script. there we go, I just like using the, let's see here, so we're there, so that's JS, there we go, and whatever, uh, index.js, oops, there we go, do we have it, no we don't, let's build one. So cons uh, index.js <coughs> uh, console log. This uh, file is being read from my static folder, JS folder. There we go. Let's see here. Now we're not going to see it because we're in the about page, right? But uh, I'm going to fix that in a second. Let's get rid of the console. There. How do I turn on the console down there? I've done that before. Show. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to move this up. This up. There we go. Okay, so now let's go back to our index. Oh crap, I did I did actually ask, add that to the about page. Oh, my bad. Well, we're going to add it as well to the index page. There we go. Cool. So it works. So we set it up right. Okay. Now, our next issue is we need some CSS. So we got some CSS here. I did uh, some crazy stuff here. I don't know what I was doing. But these are all good... Um, these right here, um, let's see, I'm just going to move this around a little bit just to focus. There we go. These here should be common on every website you build. Now, these will be different based on the website, and this even might be different. But having them here set up right away under your HTML body is extremely, extremely well you know, thought out and considered. Um, I'm just going to bugger it up. What did I do? I did something. Anyway, let's go back to this. Do we have our C? Ah, we don't have our CSS. That's why we're not seeing anything. So CSS, predictive uh, link, CSS, um, download, dot slash, 
CSS slash style. Oops. Oh, well. There we go. Bingo. Well, good. Oh, well, this is what happens. There we go. See, that's why I did call. There we go. There's a reason for my madness. So now you have everything. You can find everything here. You can put your own images in there. Uh, I think I actually. There we go. There we go. And Star Wars. So I uh, basically made a screenshot of my uh, background, of a section of my background. And that's it. That's how complicated this is. So there we go. So if I go image. Uh, let's see, images, star, wars, there we go, okay, and, probably not even image, there we go, mm, that's an image, of course it's an image, there we go. Hmm. Oh, I'm on the about page again. There we go. I was like, it's just assuming I was doing something wrong. Anyway, so there you go. Just keep your code nice and clean. Keep it well formatted, um, and work out your pages. My suggestion to you is by Monday next week, you should have this stubbed out based on the project. So if we looked at the project, we would go through the different pages <laughs> that are needed, and then that's what you want to do. Okay. So, if you're wondering, uh, I mean, I guess I would say wondering how I do some of the things that I do. Git status, so that's telling me these files are the ones that have been changed. And if you look here, it'll even say it here. So if I go git, but I'm used to using uh, um, the command line. I have to add all these files and then I have to commit them with a message uh, adding end of week code for SOD 1201 week 13 end. There we go. You can use double quotes, but since I used um, at the beginning, I used a single, so you have to match. But always remember, if you ever do use uh, like a, a comment in there, see, it loses them, because the computer doesn't know where to start and end. So you use the quotes based on what's going on in the middle. Okay. <coughs> there we go. So all those files have been committed. If you look, they're all gone here. Refresh, refresh, nothing's there. If you look here, it actually shows some of the work that I've done. Well, commits that I've done, commits and work are not the same thing. Sometimes commits are small, work is high, sometimes work is low, and commits are high. It just depends on what you're doing. So yeah, set up your application like this. Get her running. Uh, let me know if you have some problems. We'll deal with those tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so then I'm going to get push. Let's see. Oh, I didn't set it up yet on the upstream because I have a new branch. Right, and the new branch is called end. There we go, pushing everything up. Great. So now, if you're on, <coughs> let's see. There's no basics, there's week end. And if you click, watch this. So week start, two days ago, right? weekend one minute ago and the files that weren't changed okay 
So remember, you go to week start, you grab that, and you go to the code sandbox. That's the best one for the non group work. But if you saw my videos, I, I switched to Replit after our chat because we actually discovered some teamwork problems when we were working together in another class. So let's see here. So you'll do a new Replit and import from GitHub. And right, you'll do, you don't do the one with the, that declares the actual branch. Go over here, you, ins, you select it, and then you import. I already have it imported, it's right here. So then I'll go to there. There we go. So then it asks to enter a command. Uh, so what it'll be, obviously, from our beginning of our discussions, npm run dev or debug. Right? Then I go done. And there we go. So it should work just fine. There we go. So now it's installing and building the system. And we go to week start. You have some changes that are not committed yet, checking out branch, week start will overwrite any uncommitted changes, overwrite and continue. We're going to do that in a second. Okay, it's working down here. So overwrite and continue. There we go. There's your public. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting. I never noticed that one before. It's very focused on this. There. So it's building. Let's see what's going on. Rest I'll have to restart it. Very likely I'll have to restart because I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the files here. It may be because I actually had this from earlier. Oh no no. I'm not seeing the files because I have start. That's right. And if I go to end. Then I go here and I'll see my changes. There we go. So yeah, so what you want to do is obviously you stay on start, you follow this video, and you make your changes. Okay? You shouldn't be able to make changes to mine because you don't have access. Well, shouldn't be. You won't be able to make changes, so don't fear. They'll all stay in Replit. Okay? So you make your changes as you need to so that you can learn through the work. And there it is. Just go there and have at it. And you can always, of course, use uh, Code Sandbox. Um, I find it's easier to understand. Okay, and so remember this is restart the server, like if you shut down Nomon, but this is to refresh the page, okay? So we'll go H1, H1. Hello, world. Oops. Let's see, it should work right here. There it is. Okay. So good luck, enjoy, and have fun. Okay. See you in a couple of days. I'll have another video up probably before, probably Thursday actually. Might even be today. We'll see. Have a good one. Take care. Bye bye.